Welcome. In this section, we will discuss C language multiple choice questions for TCS mod hiring for BSc and BCA. This is the part two. Already part one is explained. Now in the part two, we are discussing ten more questions for your betterment. And what are the questions we mentioned? All the questions are repeated in TCS Ninja Engineering Graduate Hiring. The question one: Isha is developing a word processing software in which she wants to provide undo future. The software will maintain all the sequential changes, and at any point of time, pressing Ctrl Z will undo the latest change. What data structure should Asia use for this? Option one, stack. Option two, queues. Option three, linked list. Option four, array. So the answer is stack because undo means last action will be come back. So in stack, what are the items we stored last will be come out first. That is the reason we are choosing option one. In the second option, second question, hash include stdio.h main int argc comma character double star argv printf percentage s argv of minus argc written one. The above program was run with the following command line parameters: Asha, Usha, Nisha, Isha. What was the output? So. Box of three will contain Isha, so the output will print Isha. Question number three: A structure in C language is option one: system defined data type that holds predefined collection of data types. Option two: user defined data type holding similar or dissimilar data types. Option three: another name for union data type. Option four. A collection of similar user-defined data type. So the answer is user-defined data type holding similar or dissimilar data types. Structure means heterogeneous collection of data. Array means homogeneous collection of data. So the structure means heterogeneous collection of means different data types. Different data types. So the option two is correct. Question number four. For i is equal to seven, i not equal to zero, i minus minus print. Print f percentage d i. What will be the output? Here instead of print f, we write pseudo code so that it is print. No error. Okay. Option one compilation error. Option two infinite loop. Option three number display from seven to one in descending order. Option four number display from seven to zero in descending order. The answer is number display from seven to one. In descending order, the reason is the i starts from seven. First, will print the seven. Then i minus minus i will become six. Six will be printed, and i minus minus i will become five. Five will be printed, and i minus minus i will become four. Four will be printed. I minus minus three. I will become three. Three will be printed, and i minus minus two. I will become two. Two will be printed. I will become minus minus. I will become one and one also printed. When it comes to zero, the condition satisfies. So we have come out of the loop. Fifth question: The expression seems to be infix is solved using the data structure. So the answer is stack. One of the applications of stack is the arithmetic expression evolution. The arithmetic expression is classified into three types. One is infix expression, prefix expression, and postfix expression. Infix expression means a plus b. So, in operands in between operator. Prefix operator followed by operands. Postfix expression operands. Followed by operator. So the evolution, the expression evolution is done very fast in the system by converting 
by evaluating prefix or postfix when compared to infix. That is the reason what we are doing is we are converting infix expression into either prefix or postfix expression and evaluate it so that we are using stack is one of the application. Question number six. To get the most accurate value, we prefer the data type. Option one int, option two long int, option three float, option four double. Most accurate value of data type is double. Why? Because it takes a big number, so the decimal points are very crystal clearly cleared it. And question number seven, main int org C character star argv. In the above definition of main function, the variable argv denotes option one, an array of character, character pointers, the first array item pointing to the program name and the remaining pointing to the command line parameters. Option two, an array of character pointer, each pointing to the command line parameters. Option three, a pointer to character that points to command line parameters. Option four, a parameter to a pointer to the pointer that points to the memory location where the program has been loaded to the memory. So option one is correct. An array of character pointers, the first array item pointing to the program name and remaining pointing to the command line parameters. Question number eight. Isha works for ISRO where she is involved in a mission to intercept a comment that is likely to collide with in with in each with in one month. She is developing a C program to calculate the trajectory of the missile to be launched to intercept and destroying the approaching comet. In order to achieve highest accuracy of the missile trajectory, what data type should she use for the variables in her equation? Option 1 long int, option 2 double, option 3 float, option 4 int. The answer is double because previously we are also discussed the most accurate data type is double. That is the reason here also we are choosing double option. Question number 9. A program reads in 500 integers in a range of 0 to 100 representing the scores of 500 students. It then prints the frequency of each score above 50. What would be the best way for the program to store the frequencies? Option 1. An array of 101 numbers. Option 2. An array of 50 numbers. Option 3. An array of 500 numbers. Option 4. A dynamically allocated array of 550 numbers. The answer is an array of 50 numbers. Question number 10. This is the last question. Which of the following is true about binary tricks? Option 1. The number of nodes on the last level is equivalent to the sum of the number of nodes on all other levels. Option 2. A node may have one child. Option 3. The total number of nodes is 1 less than a power of 2. Option 4. Every node must have two children. The answer is a node may have one children.